Are you looking for barbecue joint quality pork ribs? I'm telling you, the snake method on the Weber kettle is the way to go. These things have perfect coloring. There's no barbecue sauce on these whatsoever. Low and slow is the way to go. And I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. What I'm gonna do is just start building our charcoal snake from here. Start by placing our charcoal on the sides of the Weber kettle just like this. As you can see, it starts looking like a snake. And for our second layer, we just start stacking the charcoal. Notice how I'm starting to stack the charcoal from the other side. The reason being is if I run out of charcoal, I want more charcoal on the finished side than where I begin. We're gonna place a charcoal starter at the very beginning, and then we're gonna kinda of just put some charcoal briquettes around it. Now it's time to light the charcoal starter, and from here it's just gonna burn around the side, and that's what's called the snake method, right there. Cover that up a little bit more, and perfect. Let's let this thing heat up. At this point, it's just going to take about 20 to 30 minutes for the kettle to come up to heat. Look at that flame. Looks awesome. That's just going to continue to burn. Having a clean grate is very important. Now, as you notice, on the back side is where our snake is. So on this side, we're going to put our protein and the back side is where all the heat's at. This is our indirect method. Now, one of the things I like about this is where I can put in charcoal. Essentially, our Weber kettle is an oven, so I need to keep things moist inside. So what I'm gonna do is just put down this water in there, and as it heats up, it's just, like I said, it's gonna keep things moist inside so our meat doesn't dry out. So it's time to grab our baby backs and place them on the Weber kettle on the indirect side. Line them up well. Just like that, this looks so good. Let's do it. We're into the cook now about an hour, so every hour I'm just going to give these things a spritz, and I'm just using water for it. All right, we removed the ribs, now we're putting them back on, but if you take a look, you can see how this snake method works, and it just slowly burns. Now we're getting into that power part that I call where all the heat's going to be. We wrapped our ribs, we unwrapped them, now we're putting them on the Weber kettle at an angle because I want that thicker part to heat up. But we also need to spritz them, continue to spritz them just like this. Just water, nothing special about it. Been another 30 minutes on the Weber, look at those ribs, the color is absolutely amazing. I think it's time to take them off, let them rest, give them a try. Now that our ribs are done, and before we dig into it, I did notice something. And that is the smell of the ribs. Like when you go to a barbecue joint and you walk in the front door and you you can smell them, right? Or you get your ribs out, come by, whew, love that smell. And I think it's time to give our ribs a taste. We do have a nice smoke ring going on here. I can tell you right now, they're juicy. I have no barbecue sauce on these. We use Clark Cruz Barbecue Royal Rib Rub. They know their stuff. I mean, look at that. Perfect pull away. Mm. I'd use these as a competition. Heck yeah. You know, like I said at the beginning, it's not very glamorous. And it's very slow to cook, but the food that comes out of that snake bath is fantastic. All right, well, I'm not gonna share these with anybody. These things are just dynamite. These are, these are barbecue joint quality ribs, I'm telling you. This is the bomb. So, like we saw, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and bell, blah, blah, blah. We're going to do part two here real soon. And as we're going to smoke it on a flat top gas grill. We'll see you then. Peace, guys. Yep. Here's our first rib and the second rib. Oh, look at that color. Dang, man. These look awesome. Right on. Check it out. 
Oh, those are beauty. Those are a thing of beauty. I think it's time to give them a moment to rest, about 10 minutes, and let's try them out. Before we dig into these ribs though, I want to take a smell. Because one of the things I notice is like walking into a barbecue joint and you, you smell the ribs or you smell just the ambiance of the joint. It's right here. These were super simple to make, you saw it. I mean, that snake method, there's nothing glamorous about it. It just is what it is. There's nice smokering on these. I mean, hell, they took five and a half hours to cook. Mm, perfect. Look at that, pull away from the bone, goodness. Mm. They're just as good as a barbecue joint. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. We use Clark Cruz Royal Barbecue Rib Sauce on this. Picked them up in Salt Lake City. Damn, these are good. But I'll tell you what, I'm not sharing with anybody. These things are damn near fall apart. Perfect. Great. All right, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and subscribe. Please remember to subscribe, comment, and subscribe. Please remember to subscribe, comment, and subscribe. Talk to you next time, because next time we're doing ribs over the gas smoker flat top. See you then, guys. Peace.